Hey guys, Warchild V1 here with some more Dark Souls. So, um, we're here in the Undead Burg, and we're at the very first bonfire. This is where we left off on the last video. Um, I'm gonna go change a setting that keeps moving my camera that's really jacking me up. Um, it's called Camera Auto Wall Recovery. I hate it. I hate it. It makes me turn my camera every once in a while when I don't, when I don't want to. So that's fixed now. No more auto wall recovery. So not that I need help, but here is someone that wants to help. I'm going to summon a helper just because I can. Um, sometimes you summon a helper and they really, really help. Sometimes you summon a helper and they don't. Um, there are times that you'll summon someone and they do everything for you, which I hate. And, uh, I don't know. You just never know what you're going to get when you summon a random guy to help you. I guess that's all I'm getting at. What's up, Grey Brave? Thank you. Alright, he killed all the bad guys in this room. Look, a chest. Black fire bombs. Very useful against the, uh,. Taurus Demon, which is the the boss of this level, really. Very, very useful against the Taurus Demon. So he's moved ahead. There are three enemies up here. Thank you, sir. Alright, he's going up to kill a sniper up there with a crossbow. Here's your first weapon buff. It's called Gold Pine Resin. If you put this on your weapon, it adds electricity to your weapon. And it is actually very, very nice. Ooh, another firebomb I like. So you have to keep your partner alive. Um, like I just did not do. I should have healed and, and healed him, but I didn't know he was hurt. I seriously thought I just saw his life bar and it was full. It must have been his enemy. So that's too bad. I kind of feel bad about that, but too late now, right? You can run and jump right through that if you jump on the left side of it. I don't want to do it. I don't feel like it. In fact, there's a ring that I'm about to go try to get that I really want. This ring um, is the blue tear stone ring. With it, now I have another longsword. With the blue tear stone ring, um, when your life is down to 20% or lower, you have much stronger defenses. So that's what that ring is all about. That's too bad. Oh shit. I'm in trouble already. He's gonna kill me. I don't want him to, but he's gonna. Eh. Oh, I had more room. I didn't realize I had more room. Damn it. Yeah, I feel like an ass now. I just got killed by a black knight. What a wuss. What a wuss. Nah, Black Knights can really, really wreck you. And uh, as you see, I just got freaking wrecked. That's a, you know, Dark Souls can do that to you, though. But I really want that ring. So we're going to get it. I really want that ring. Now 
Now, with this being a detail-specific walkthrough, check it out. You can run and jump right here and jump down to... There's a balcony down there that's going to kill me. You can run and jump down to the balcony that's directly under me right here. And that's where the Black Knight is standing. You can actually jump down there, grab the ring, and that's a shortcut. Now, I don't know if that's a good shortcut to take because you get wrecked by that Black Knight the second you land there. But I was just letting you know that that is a route that you can take. Damn! I'm dead again. No, I'm not. Yes, I am! Oh. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> oh, wow. Like I said, I'm not going to play this like I'm a badass. I'm going to show you a detail-specific walkthrough. I can't believe that. I cannot believe that. Bad timing. Wow, I cannot believe I just died there. Those firebombs hurt like hell when you're new. When you have like no defense yet, those firebombs really hurt. I didn't really think I was dead. I know I said it and all, but I was kind of playing. I shouldn't have been playing, obviously. I would have been smart to start as a pyro. That makes all this easier, by the way, in case you didn't know. Start as a pyro, it is like the easiest starting class there is. But I'm making a, a war build that doesn't have, you know, attunement points. I don't want to have any magic at all with this build. I'll show you how to get all the magic, but I don't want any. Alright, so I'm going to quit jacking around, I guess. Let's go kill the firebombs guy, firebomb guys because I really want my revenge. There's that ring that I want. I'm gonna go for it. So you'll see orange signs all over the place. These are notes that are written by other player characters. You can leave notes for other people to help them with their journeys. Like Sniper ahead for this crossbow guy. He's sitting up there in his little perch shooting you when you come over here to try to fight these punks. Oh, my first upgrade material. I can actually upgrade this weapon to a plus one. Alright, let's try this again. I don't really expect to do too well. That hardly even hurt him. I'm so dead again. Alright, I'm gonna come back to this ring. Oh my god. Wow. I feel like such a noob. But it goes to show, goes to show. This fucker can kill you. He can kill you. Alright, I'm gonna go get my stuff and we're gonna move on for now. So 
So this is not exactly the safest way to go. If you just book it like this, it will get you killed. It's probably going to get me killed. I'm just... Shit. I gotta run all the way up to him. Yeah, it's gonna. I just want my humanity back is all. This is really, really bad. I don't think I even have a chance here. Hey, I got my ring. Yeah, I can just give up on that humanity, right? <laughs> oh, man. It's pretty horrible. <laughs> oh, it's kind of embarrassing. But I'll be okay. Hey, I got the ring. Alright, let's do this like you should do it. Take care of the enemies instead of running away from them. We're not going to worry about the lost humanity. I got my ring. And I'll show you the easy way to kill the Taurus demon. Yep, that's in the plans. Easy way for a new guy. The smart thing for me to do would actually be to go to that blacksmith, that first blacksmith, and upgrade my weapon once. But I'm not using a weapon that I'm going to stick with through the whole playthrough. Um, I'm just going to use this for right now. I do love this. Um, it is a good Wars build weapon. That it is. Wars build is a quality build in case you didn't know. We're going to go with 40 dex, 40 strength. And uh, we'll figure out the rest of our numbers after that. Since this is going to be 8 attunement instead of 12, usually I have 2 attunement slots and I equip pyromancies, but I'm not planning on it this time. Now, you see your stamina bar up there? Every time you swing your weapon, if you haven't noticed, I'm sure you have, your stamina goes down. If you're blocking, your stamina is not going up very fast. When you block, see how slow it moves? When you block, it moves really slow. Now, I know there's so many of you that know that. I'm just saying it. Giant ahead. Kinda. And you can get down there just by dropping off of this spot, but you're not missing any anything if you don't. There's really nothing there. Alright, do you have to have a master key? You have to have a master key to get down there. There's Havel. They call him Havel the Rock, and there's good reason for it. So I will show you Havel the Rock a little bit later on in the walkthrough. All right, this barrel right here, this very first barrel, this one, that barrel, has a uh, crystal lizard in it which drops upgrade materials. If you do a jump and attack, it's a good way to stun it right off the bat. And you do a jump and attack by hitting up and trigger, up and right trigger at the same time. So that stuns it so it doesn't run from you. Otherwise it runs instantly and you're in trouble. You can, you can lose it. I don't know that I've ever lost it, but you can. Alright, you come out here. You want to immediately go up this ladder unless you don't mind having crossbow assholes attacking you while you're fighting the boss. Oh, another upgrade material. Oh, I'm getting excited. We can make it a plus two at this point. Then I'll actually need two more to make it a plus three. That's how that works. One, one, two, two, three. All right, so we're going to run away. I would have been smart to buff my weapon, but I didn't. I don't think I even have time to really. Not now. I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna try a jump attack. No, it didn't hurt him extra. I was wondering if it would hurt him extra or something. I don't believe it did. 
I'm just running so I could uh, put that on. Now, watch. Firebombs, here's the easy way to kill him. They really hurt him. These black firebombs that you get early in the game, they hurt him really bad. But uh, regular firebombs will do too. Uh-oh. Yeah, I saw that coming. I'm going to go ahead and kill him with my melee though. I'm just showing you that he's not hard. That's the easy way to do it. But with this uh, pine resin on your weapon, your weapon really hurts. Whether it's a weak weapon or a strong weapon, your weapon really hurts when you put that on there. So that's the easy way to kill the Taurus Demon. I don't know how easy I made it look, but as you saw, it was pretty easy. I don't even think I had to heal at all, did I? Alright, so right when you come out, you want to come over here and talk to Knight Solaire, Sunbro. Ah, hello. You don't look hollow, far from it. I am Solaire of Astora, an adherent of the Lord of Sunlight. Now that I am undead, I have come to this great land, the birthplace of Lord Gwyn, to seek my very own son. You find that strange? Well, you should. No need to hide your reaction. I get that look all the time. <laughs> hmm. So, he oh, loves the sun. Uh, so I didn't scare you. I have a proposition, if you have a moment. Sure, I have a moment. The way I see it, our fates appear to be intertwined. In a land brimming with hollows, could that really be mere chance? So what do you say? Why not help one another on this Sounds good. journey? Sounds good. Yeah, sounds good. This pleases me greatly. Well then, we are amidst strange beings You're in a correct. strange land. The flow of time itself is convoluted, with heroes centuries old phasing in and out. The very fabric wavers, and relations shift and obscure. There's no telling how much longer your world and mine will remain in contact. But use this to summon one another as spirits, cross the gaps between the worlds and engage in jolly Sounds contact. like fun. Of course, we are not the only ones engaged in this, but I am a warrior of the sun. Spot my summon signature easily by its brilliant aura. If you miss it, mm -hmm. you must be blind. <laughs> so he puts his summon sign outside of boss doors so you can help or so he can help you with a boss. Now, before you run down here, you want to make sure that you're full on health. And you want to run. Run, run, run. Now, being a medium roller doesn't help me out a lot. Because, uh... Yeah, being a medium roller doesn't help me out a whole lot. Because, therefore, I can't run as fast as everyone else. But you want to come down here and kick this ladder before you actually go down to this bonfire. Now, we can sit down. I would say get our tin flasks back, but they're right there. Um, now we move on. Oh, I'm going to become human. That way, maybe I'll get an invader. Um, it would kind of suck, just because I can't wield anything and I don't have any good weapons yet, but hey, you know, I could try. go with that for now. 16 and 16. I should be able to wield almost every weapon I have. We'll go with a katana for now. Sounds good. And I'm out of pine resin to put on it, unfortunately. So that's too bad. So, um... I will show you how to get his tail the easy way. Or get the Drake Sword more like the easy way. You simply shoot him in his tail. Without missing. Like that. Go ahead and pull back, get ready for a second shot. Sometimes you can hit him that second time and it's useful. This is the easiest way that you can get it where you're guaranteed not to die. Um, you can get it other ways where it's not so easy. There we go. Second shot always helps. 
because it's up close. You do more damage when you're up close than you do this far away. So if you can hit him with the second shot and perfectly time this, like so, that helps a lot with getting this tail. You can go melee it off, but there's a good possibility you will get murdered. Because this guy likes to murder you. He likes to murder me at least. So maybe I'm just speaking for the rest of us, but he likes to murder you. He's really good at it, trust me. He can one-shot you with this fire at this point in the game. I don't know if he ever can't one-shot you with his fire. Other than that very first attack that you meet him with. That one you can't die from, I don't believe. Unless you have, like, not enough life. It just takes a percentage. Kind of like falling. I believe fall damage on this game just takes a percentage of your life, not a specific amount. I've never actually gone and tried to test it or anything like that, but that's my theory. And I'm sticking with it. So yeah, there's a lot of people that'll say, well, you can just go chop his tail off. It's so much easier and faster. It might be for you. It's not for me. This is the easiest way. I usually die whenever I take him one-on-one. -on -one, unless I do it my way. Which I already have a video of how to kill the Hellkite Dragon. I will put a link to that in the description of this. That way, uh, if you want to see an easy way to kill him, just go follow that guide. And we'll kill him a little bit later on in this video. Not quite yet. I mean, I guess I could. Kill him with his own tail, right? Here, let's do it. Let him kill all those guys for you. There you go. We're going to kill him with his own tail. Don't get brave and do like two or three shots. Trust me, don't get brave. This guy can kill you fast. Now, he can also heal himself. Um, I tend to get pretty lucky, though. He doesn't seem to heal himself very often for me. But you want to shoot him and then hit him one time and run away. If you hit him twice, there's a good possibility that he will just kill you. If you're too slow, there's a good possibility he will just kill you. You just need to get used to going through the motions of this. I'll tell you my exact buttons here in just a second when I do it again. Alright, he flew away. Alright, I hit left bump. I don't even know. I switch to my weapon and then I two-hand it. That's that's it. How's that sound? I hit bump button Y Y. But bump button Y Y. There you go. Or you can even just switch back to your shield and then hit Y. Bump button, switch to shield, Y. Yeah, that's perfect. I tried it with two, let's see. Lucky me, lucky me. I was lucky. So that time, I went from this position, I hit bump button, left on the D-pad, then Y. Bump button, left, Y. That's the easiest way to switch from my arrow to a two-handed sword so I can hit this guy. Two hits, I'm gonna run. Two hits is being brave, guys, so... I don't recommend it until you get switching back to the weapon down really fast. Or, until you get it down pat, more like. Once you get it to where you're really... Oh shit, he's still here. Yeah. Gotta watch out for that. There, he went back, he went back. Yeah, once you get this little thing down, then you're set. Alright, 
All right, come out here. Wait till you see him fly back. You'll just there he went. You'll just see his wing for just a second. That's how you know he flew back. Uh oh. Yeah. Yeah, that was bad. That was bad. We're gonna kill this guy with his own tail, damn it. Alright. I only hit him once. Yep, that hurts. Sometimes he makes you fall up the stairs, which really sucks. Because that's the last thing you want to do is fall upstairs. He flew back. Oh shit, I kicked. Ah shit, I'm going to die this time. Sorry guys. Yep. That's how you die. Like I said, I will put a link in the description to how to kill him easily so you don't have to watch this painfully. Or uh, maybe I can put it on the next video and just fast forward it for you. Because uh, it will be pretty painful to watch. Because um, it takes forever, that's all. Alright guys, please comment, like, and sub. And uh, I'm going to keep this stuff coming to you. So thanks for watching. I can handle that. Let's uh, see how it goes, right? What's up, Solace? Again. Never met the guy. Solace and Silence. Cool name. We both had the same idea.